I love to indulge in the occasional alcoholic beverage. You know, Sunday night football games or maybe World Series Game 5s in which certain royal blue colored teams play and win. Whatever the occasion, my wife has these crystal wine glasses that I thought would look pretty nice being displayed alongside my Kansas City Chiefs beer glasses. Yep, no accounting for taste, that says. The first thing I've done, which I'm not going to waste time showcasing in this video, is I've spent the previous day edge gluing boards, planing, and jointing. If you want to know how I joint boards, you can click right up in the corner. I'll walk you through. That leaves me here on the miter saw to cut all my pieces to length. A complete list of cuts and materials will be available on my website at simplyeasydiy.com. So if you leave a comment saying the cut list is nowhere to be found, dude, we're all going to laugh at you because, well, you forwarded through this part of the video. Also, you didn't bother checking the description because the link is always down there as well. Yeah, what is it with people not checking the description of videos? <laughs> you know it's there. After that's all said and done, I'll take those two pieces over to the drill press. A one inch Forstner bit gives me the cutout for the neck of a wine bottle. I'm not just eyeballing this, I did mark this out because I do want this centered on the piece. That placement will be on my website as well. Alright, let's start assembling the shelves. For now, it is just glue and clamps. After I have everything the way that I want it, I'll drill some dowels. Flush cut with a pole saw. Now I can glue and clamp the sides to one of the shelves. The center will be a shared piece, so I'll take this one side at a time. I'm only going to be displaying two wine bottles on my rack. I'd like to display some vintage beer bottles on the other side if I can find them, so I didn't bother drilling the half circle cutout on the mating shelf, but I could have if I wanted. Once those are dry, I'll sand them down a little bit. Then take them over to my vise, clamp them down, add more dowels. Let's mark out for the wine glasses, shall we? My wife doesn't know I took these out to my shop. She'd probably shoot me if she did, but yeah, I really don't see a way that she could find out. Yep, I'm smarter than the average husband. This is either a 5 8 inch or maybe a 3 quarter inch Forstner bit. I forget which one, but either one of them would probably work. I want to mark a slight angle for the cutout line, so I'll use my angle finder just to keep everything symmetrical. Clamp it down and have at it with a pole saw. Check to see if that's going to work. All right, good to go. Sand it down. Now I can attach those pieces to the shelf assemblies. Again, glue, clamps, and dowels. Been there, done that. The base piece is a simple glue up using 1x4 boards. You could use a piece of ply if that's what you got or so desire. Doing it like this, I always make the glue up longer and wider than I'll actually need. Generally, the ends are not going to be flush unless I get really lucky, which yeah, I'm not. All I have to do now is trim up one of the ends with a straight edge and a circular saw. Now I can run that end along the fence on my table saw to square up the other end. And then flip it 90 degrees, readjust the fence, and trim it to width. I took a good hour or two sanding everything down, and I'm not going to bore you with that. The edges I took off by hand, just enough to make them easier on the touch. Now I can attach the shelves to the base piece, so I'll just spread some glue. I'm being careful with my initial position of these shelves, that way I don't have to move it around too much. That way I don't have to deal with glue in places that I don't want it. 
Time for the good stuff. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm showing my age. This is an ancient Japanese preservation technique called Shosugiban. I'm not actually going to go into details here, but if you want to know more about this technique, I'm going to have a write-up on it over on my website, simplyeasydiy.com. Check the description. I'll link you to it. I'll also have a couple of other good quality videos that will show you how this is traditionally done in Japan and talk a little bit more about the benefits. From here, I'll take it back to my workstation and sand off some of that char. It also helps to even out some of the collar as well. After a couple coats of wood sealer, I used a keyhole bit to route a couple mounting spots for some drywall hangers. And now she's ready to adorn the dining room with grace and style. Don't forget to find me on Facebook and Pinterest. Since you made it this far, don't forget to drop me a like or a dislike as well. Subscribe so you never miss a new project video whenever they're ready to go. Until then.